Why do I have more coughs and colds than my friends? How do I explain to my friends why sometimes my lips turn blue? Why do I feel out of breath when I exercise sometimes? What games are actually best for me? Listen to your heartbeat, to your heartbeat, to your heartbeat. Whoa! Listen to your heartbeat, to your heartbeat, to your heartbeat. Whoa! If you have a heart condition like me, you might wonder why you sometimes feel ill or get out of breath. We're going to show you that there are lots of other children just like you, and sometimes they have worries too. Your heart is really special cause it makes you nice and strong But even though it loves you it can sometimes still go wrong The heart is made up normally of four chambers. There are two chambers which collect blood called the atriums and two chambers which pump blood called the ventricles. Some children are born with conditions where one chamber of the heart may be missing. Sometimes they're born with holes between the pumping chambers of the heart and sometimes they're born with narrowings to one or other of the blood vessels leaving the heart. So then you come to see us at the hospital cause then we'll make you feel much better once again. Is that my heart? In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, whoa. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, whoa. Might get out of breath or even find it hard to run But there are lots of other things that you can do for fun no! Why do I feel out of breath when I exercise? When you're exercising, we're asking your heart to really bump up and do a lot more than it does when you're just sitting still. And in some people, the heart can't quite bump up to the same level as it would do if your heart was completely normal. And you can feel that as feeling a bit less able to exercise and a bit more out of breath. If you do get out of breath, you can always have a rest or try doing something else. Sophie, what, what do you like doing? Irish dancing. Okay. I saw a picture of you Irish dancing. It looked like you were flying yes. in the air. And you were telling me that you've won some medals and things for you. Lots to of medals, medals and three trophies and some awards, like I got one for trying really hard with my timing. James, what about you? What, what sort of sports do you like doing? Golf. Golf. And have you won any medals or got yeah. any certificates in golf? Yeah. Oh, how many medals have you got? Two. Football's fun, but it's a bit more difficult. Ah, so what do you do if you're having a game of football then? How do you make that work? There's a bench. You can go and sit down. Right. So you can just have a, a break and sit right. down when yeah. you need to? So your heart needn't stop you doing things, you just have to go at your own pace. It doesn't usually disable you from doing many sports, it doesn't like stop you from doing them, it just makes them slightly more different. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, whoa. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, whoa. There's lots of little children who are special, just like you. So why do they get coughs and colds or sometimes even flu? Why do I have more coughs and colds than my friends? Lots of children with, who have heart conditions actually don't have more coughs and colds than their friends. If you get a cough or cold, that you probably feel a bit more under the weather with it than you would do if the heart was completely normal. There's lots of boys and girls who are special just like you And what they want to know is why their lips are sometimes blue When I get really cold my lips go blue How do I explain to my friends about um, why, why sometimes I li my lips turn blue? Well, you just have to say um, my heart is just different than you Different and I get colder easier if you have a heart condition where there's even the slightest change in the circulation to, say, your fingers, then they will appear even more blue, particularly in situations like cold weather, coming out of a hot bath, swimming pool. Very, very rarely is that something to worry about. 
It's very common. Sometimes you might have to have some tests at hospital, so the doctors can make sure you stay well. Here at the Avelina Children's Hospital, it's really friendly, and there's plenty to do while you wait to have your test done. We have to check your blood. So I'll start giving you a squeeze now. Well, why do I have to have my blood pressure taken? Well, it um, it checks your heart for us, so we know that's beating nice and strong. Um, it also checks how the blood's circulating around your body, so we know that's okay. Lovely, 104 over 56, perfect. Okay. And see how much you weigh. Good boy. Nice and still. Why are you wetting me? Why am I weighing you? Oh, well, we need to weigh you to check how big you're getting and some of the medicines you might have we work out on your weight. And you might even get an ECG. Right, so Sam, the reason you're having these sticky pads on you is in the end we'll wire you up to this machine and this machine will tell me how your heart's working and how it's beating, if it's beating correctly. So I'll pop another one there. And then all I do press my print button and it'll come out and then the doctors can read that and see how your heart's working. You get your dress then? Yeah. The sats and MRIs and we look into your eyes to make your care the best that it can be. The most common test that we'll do to work out what's wrong with your heart is with one of these machines where what we would do is to put some jelly on your chest and then use one of these to pop onto the jelly and that allows us to take pictures where we can see your heart right inside your chest. Sometimes we also put you into a, a machine which is like a great big donut and it takes very special pictures of your heart and gives us more information about what's wrong. The doctors might also give you some medicines to take home with you. Why do I have to make, take medicines every day? Well, the medicines we give you are to try to make your heart uh, work better. And those are things which some children will need to take every day to make the heart work as well as we can make it. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, whoa. Sometimes you are in and out, you could be here all day But when there's lots to do to you, we might ask you to stay Sometimes the doctors may want you to stay in hospital But mum or dad might be able to stay too Mummy and daddy sometimes sleep in this bed This is my blanket, this is my bed This is Mr Anderson and this is a Hey, um, my head fun. There's lots to make you feel at home in hospital. And if you have to stay for a while, there's even a school. I was in hospital for quite a while and I had to go to school here. And I did lots of painting and making like masks and things like that. And I really enjoyed that there was a choice of lots of different things to do and that um, I wasn't missing out on anything that I did at school. I really enjoyed that there were lots of other people doing lots of different things just like me and we got to do some really cool, fun stuff. I like play with play. Yeah, it's too sticky for playing at the moment, isn't it? I like a nice here. I made lots of new friends. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, whoa. nothing to worry about if you have to stay but if you do have some questions there are plenty of people to ask when I'm worried at hospital who should I what should I do and what, who should I ask 
The first thing is lots of children get worried about what will happen when they're in hospital and lots of adults worry about what will happen when they go into hospital. The answer to that is you can ask anybody who is part of our team. But the nurse who will be looking after you would be a good place to start. You can ask me, you can ask any member of the staff. You might have lots of medicine and we may give you a drip. An operation leaves a scar which looks just like a zip. This is my zipper. Um, and it doesn't actually hurt. My friends sometimes ask me what it is, and I tell them I've got one on the back and one down here, a little smiley face down here. What advice would you give to, a, a, say, a little girl or a boy who was having an operation and was worried about the scar? What would you say to them? Don't worry. Don't worry? But it will fade, and, if, and you can tell whoever you want, and if there's someone you don't want to t tell, then you don't have to tell them. Mm. Really good advice, thank you.